Massachusetts and several other states have legalized recreational marijuana. Rhode Island is considering it as well, and it's getting the support of the superintendent of the Rhode Island State Police. The House Finance Committee held their first hearing tonight on a proposal to legalize pot. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado is at the State House now with more details. Governor Gina Raimondo's recreational marijuana proposal would tax and regulate the drug and allow for retail stores. At a House finance hearing tonight, local law enforcement leaders disagree on whether it should pass. Rhode Island will be dealing with this issue of regarding public safety because Massachusetts has already legalized marijuana to our north. Rhode Island's new superintendent of the state police, Colonel James Manny, telling lawmakers he supports Governor Gina Raimondo's recreational marijuana proposal, which would legalize adult use and allow retail sales. This will make Rhode Island the second state to prohibit homegrown marijuana. This policy will stifle the illicit market and help avoid out-of-state diversion seen in adult use states. In particular, he likes that the bill would provide funding to train more drug recognition experts who can identify high drivers during traffic stops. Right now, there is a shortage of drug recognition experts, DREs, um, not only on the state police, but across the entire state and the municipalities. Manny telling Eyewitness News state police would need dozens more DREs if this passes. And it's very weird to, see, to hear any officer of the law uh, advocating for this, but... Um, I'm getting, I'll get used to it, I guess. The Rhode Island Police Chiefs Association remains opposed to legalization, submitting only written testimony for tonight's hearing. The president, Lincoln Police Chief Brian Sullivan, writing, quote, legalizing marijuana will bring new challenges and unforeseen problems to public safety. We strongly encourage more discussion and research. And the Rhode Island League of Cities and Towns came out against the bill today, saying they oppose that it would require cities and towns to hold a public referendum to ban retail stores in their towns. They want that to be able to be done by ordinance. Now, the committee heard testimony from about 50 members of the public. No vote is scheduled tonight. I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.